Hey, honey. I love you. <laughs> I love you. We'll get a splasher. Yeah. When my son was about 10 months old, he, he had developed an illness called hydrocephalus. And what that is, is when spinal fluid builds up on, on your brain and it builds up a pressure and starts actually destroying your brain. He required to have brain surgery and there was complications with the brain surgery. And he got an infection and was hospitalized for a lengthy amount of time. And it was very difficult because he was quite ill. The day that the, the doctor had come to talk to my wife and I and said, and he warned us that, you know, there's a possibility that, you know, your son might not do very well or he might not make it through. That's when the reality hit me. And for me, it was really scary and I didn't really understand what was going on. Um, my wife being a pediatrics nurse, it was a little bit different. So I was really clinging to her for support and assurance that everything was gonna be okay. But when she didn't return that assurance that everything was gonna be okay and I looked into her eyes and I, and I could see the fear in her eyes, that's when it really hit me and I myself started to question like, you know, was my son gonna be okay? I felt a lot of guilt that I hadn't caught the diagnosis earlier, that I hadn't seen the signs and symptoms. So I kind of stole a little bit of my identity as a nurse and it also sort of made me feel as a failure as a mother. And that was on top of the feelings of fear that I was worried about my son, not only for the acute phase of uh, the surgeries and um, him being quite ill, but also for what his life would be like in the future. At the moment that everything was happening, I, it was like the rest of my world didn't exist. There was, it was, I was hyper-focused on this one, this one situation and my, my, it was our life. Do you know what I mean? Like everything that we were doing at that moment can, revolved around that one moment with my child. And that's when you realize just how important our children are. And I, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it any better than that. It's overwhelming to know that at any moment your child's mechanism, the shunt, could fail and you could lose your child, that things could go wrong, um, and thing, things have since that hospitalization gone wrong, and it's become easier to deal with, but it, it's still, it's long term, and when it's long term, it's exhausting emotionally. And so when I was introduced to Family Centre, I didn't realize how much of a support it would be just to to help me get out of the, the trappings of, of those things. When we had come to Family Centre, we realized that the Family Centre offered so much more than just you know, early childhood education. They also offer an Im immense array of family support. If it hadn't all started with the Family Centre, our life probably would have looked a lot different. It's easy to get worn down, and the Family Centre, it sort of rejuvenates you. It gives you a fresh kind of start.